Oh no, so no one wants to be crushed by my biceps? Or my thighs? Okay, granted I don't have large thighs, but... that the clothing industry still only pertains to a certain body type or beauty standard. So as you guys have noticed, I dress myself up in a lot of tank tops. And the sole reason is this. In going out, I still look cute, but I also still look strong. Don't let the clothing industry define what you can and cannot train. Because you don't need to fit into their clothes, but their clothes need to fit on you. So a staff member approached me at the gym today and they told me that someone was complaining about me posing. So as you can see, I'm a little sweaty because I just came back from cardio and posing at my commercial gym. And I know it's a commercial gym, so you don't see a lot of people pose or stare at themselves in the mirror for a really long time. But I wasn't doing anything inherently wrong, so I don't know why I got a complaint. I thought we were all going to the gym to work and focus on ourselves instead of judge other people for what they do. As great as I think my biceps are, I was absolutely humbled today. So I went to the gas station looking like this. 
and this very nice woman came up to me and told me that I looked skinny. And no, it wasn't offensive in any way, but skinny is not my goal. I get the privilege of running into a lot of influencers, namely Jay Lane. Let me tell you, this man is absolutely huge. And as big as I think my platform is, absolutely no one knew who I was at the gym that I went to today. But that's okay, because it's just up from here. So this was all I was doing. Relaxed front, front double by, relaxed slide, relaxed back, back double by, and that was it. For reference, this is the exact spot I was posing at. So today, like any other day, I moved the benches in the area just so then I wasn't taking up any extra space or equipment. And as you guys can see from the picture, there are no free weights in front of the mirror. I have posed in that singular spot so many times within the past six months. But I guess today was the day that someone needed to call me out. All right, take a look at the sports bra. Like, my lats are just free. My lats can finally breathe. Hear me out. That's it. All right, sorry to brush your bubble, but... She's kind of hot. I was just looking in the mirror and... Oh my gosh, you're so funny, but I have larger arms than I do legs, so sucks to suck. But here's me doing RDLs in the 60s. Enjoy.
Most guys don't want gym girls. Well, who says that I want most guys? I don't need anyone to like me. Especially if I look like this. Because guess what? I like myself. Beat that. Oh no. So no one wants to be crushed by my biceps? Or my thighs? Okay, granted I don't have large thighs, but still. This is me September 2020, and then this is me exactly a year from then, September 2021, and this is me now. Okay, so I'm not motivated all the time, so here's some tips when you're going through the same thing. One, remind yourself of your goals. Sometimes we just go through the movements and we forget why we're doing what we're doing, and maybe you need to realign your goals. Two, take everything day by day. Some days are harder than others, so make a checklist of things that you need to do for that day. Drink your water, get your steps in, go to the gym, eat all your meals, because it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Three, if you haven't already, find a friend, group of friends, or a community that will help keep you accountable, because it makes a difference whenever you have someone else pushing you and motivating you. I think lastly, go to the gym. You don't realize that the environment that you're in changes your mood. Even if you don't feel like it, drive to the gym, and I promise you, you'll feel a lot better. In a small TMI, when you're on your period, go to the gym. You have a bit more test in your system because of hormones, so you're a little bit stronger. So push some iron. Hope this helped. Bro, I don't think you understand. All I care about is having muscles. Anything, everything. So as you guys have noticed, I dressed myself up in a lot of tank tops. And the sole reason is this. In going out, I still look cute, but I also still look strong. Don't let the clothing industry define what you can and cannot train. Because you don't need to fit into their clothes, but their clothes need to fit on you. Just because my eating habits don't fit your eating habits doesn't mean that there's an issue. And just because I decide to pack my meals with me does not mean it's an eating disorder. I have a specific goal that I want to reach. That's why I plan my meals the way that I do. I want to competitively bodybuild, so I have to control what I can control, such as food. And in no way am I promoting my eating habits or pushing it onto others. So have a nice day. In this past year, I've loved seeing the dynamic change as more and more women are going into the gym and lifting. But again, there is still a huge stigma against women and going to the gym. And it's mainly because of factors like this that target a certain body type that women are afraid to train, especially upper body. 
But remember, you have to be really intentional with your training to look big. I believe that there will be a progression eventually where we will see more of the clothing industry actually be directed towards different body types. All in all, I still don't think that it's a bad thing that I've had to size up in my tops. And as I have progressed with training, my clothing choice now reflects my confidence and showing off my muscles. Someone just told me that if my likes count is significantly higher than my followers count, it's because I'm funny enough for the like, but not hot enough for the follow. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, don't put down other girls, just because their lifestyles don't align together. I'm 20, so I don't need a man or a baby right now. And what I do with my life has nothing to do to define my relationships. I mean, I think I dress pretty conservatively, ma'am. But just because my lifestyle is different from yours, does not mean it is inherently wrong. If you guys see me at Destination Dallas, I just want to apologize in advance because I do kind of walk around like I own this shit and I really don't. I just have my headphones in and I don't think I have an RBF, but some of y'all say I have an RBF. Uh, I really do be walking around like this though, with my lats spread out. No, that is very bold of you to say, especially for someone that follows me. It's insane the amount of comments I've gotten like this saying that people are afraid of going to the gym in fear of judgment. Don't forget, we were newbies once, and we are a resource that you guys can utilize. So gorgeous, gorgeous girls, uplift others in the gym, and gorgeous, gorgeous girls, don't judge others in the gym. I think it's an honor to get this comment just because you guys think that I take the gym very seriously. But I promise you, I, well, I think I'm a very nice person. So, I mean, don't be afraid to approach me at the gym if you guys see me there. I currently go to Destination Dallas Absolute Recomp AR in Fort Worth-ish um, in the UTD gym. So, if you guys want to say hi and get a workout in together, you should, yeah. I think we all need to realize why we're in the gym in the first place. The gym is normally an environment for us to grow and prosper individually. And you can't tell me that you were not once a new gym goer. So just as you felt very welcomed when you first started going to the gym, help others feel the same. And for newcomers, don't be afraid to ask to work in or how a machine works. Because we've been in your place before and we're more than happy to help.
I've had single arm lat pull downs programmed for about a year now, and I'm seeing more of it at the gym due to JPG coaching. It's known to efficiently engage your lats. However, I still see some people making a common mistake. Doing a normal lat pull down, your body is in line with the cable. Common mistake that I see and that I used to make as well was leaning over because you see the cable is also in line with my body here. And as you can see here, the line of movement is very similar. So essentially you're performing the same movement. The movement is quote unquote optimized when you're in an upright position like this. JPG coaching uses a bench to support his upright position. However, my university gym won't let me move the benches. And remember in this movement, lead with your elbows instead of pulling with your biceps. You know what's not talked about enough? Me and my biceps. I started my weight loss journey in junior high, which is more than five years ago. Back then, I was told by everyone I knew and doctors, you're overweight, you need to lose weight, you're gaining too much weight. And that caused me to perceive myself in a bad light and always look at myself as someone ugly. At the peak of being my smallest, I was not eating enough. I was malnourished, my hair was falling out, and my legs always looked bruised. We always perceive losing weight as something positive or something to be happy about. But it's because of the current narrative in society that you have to be thin or skinny to look beautiful. We constantly compare ourselves to unrealistic standards like models or actresses, when in reality, they are just on the extreme side of the spectrum in beauty standards. It took a lot of time for me to feel comfortable with gaining weight and building muscle, but I can promise you that this Renee is a lot more happier and healthier than this Renee. And no matter what that number says on the scale, I'm still beautiful. The conversation regarding health puts too much emphasis on weight. Correct, the number on the scale is a great tool to gauge how fit you are. But looking at this picture, a pound of fat looks very different from a pound of muscle. So being a certain weight can look different between certain individuals based on how much muscle mass they have. But this is a topic I want to touch on as a woman because while I was too focused on losing weight, I lost my menstrual cycle for a year and a half. And this was due to me training too often, not sleeping enough, and not eating enough. For women that are starting to go to the gym and lift, you will not get the body that you want by just exercising. You have to remember that rest and eating enough will help you obtain your physique goals. And don't let yourself reach the point where you lose your period like I did. A year ago, I was a burnt out college student doing pre-med only because my parents wanted me to. I'm still the same person, but at least I'm in Austin wallowing my calves. So I'm going to show you guys a gym fit. But first off, we have the upside down smiley from the new Anaka drop. And we're going to pair them with the Anaka graffiti shorts. Right. Usually for a leg day, I don't wear the mesh shorts, but I have some sweet nice that we need, so I'll be fine. And lastly, we have our black nothing baby, so. And I mean, this right here is just the right around the legs. My hot take is if you're waking up at 4 or 5 for the gym, but you're going to sleep at midnight and not getting enough sleep, you're defeating the entire purpose.
These are the Stella shorts from Anaka. By far my favorite pair of shorts. I'm gonna show you guys how to put these on. My favorite features are the lack of the butt scrunch and the four inch waistband. Oddly, the first thing I do is bend over, I guess just to set the length on my legs. The material's thick enough so you don't have to worry about your nails, camel toe, or gooch sweat. And these are perfect for the short torso girlies because I don't have to roll down my waistband. I posted show updates on the other app. If you guys aren't following me there, why aren't you? I got fifth place to a novice, and I don't know the results for open yet because they're not online, but I got second call out, so I didn't place. Normally, I'm an anxious person. I thought I was going to be a little nervous on stage, maybe fuck something up, but I really enjoyed being on stage, actually, and competing this weekend, and I feel like it woke up some other part of me. I plan on competing again in the future, but I'm going to take a long time to grow. So now I'm in my journey to build some wellness looks. I love to get in sparkly dresses.